Who or what inspired you to pursue a career in science? I just have always liked trying to understand how things work. I think that's what it comes down to. You look at some systems, kind of active system that's doing something, and I want to know how it works, why it works, what it's doing. And I think that's always been the driver for me. It's very much a, a curiosity-driven thing. How important do you think are role models for scientific careers, especially for women? So I think role models are important, but not necessarily in the straightforward way of, of needing to have a, a kind of model, literally a model against which you can match yourself. It's more a question of having examples of diversity out there to encourage you to pursue what you want to pursue. Did you have to make any sacrifices to pursue your career in science? At some level, um, yes. I mean, doing science is incredibly fulfilling and, and you could put way more hours than there are in the day into doing it. And I also have two wonderful children and I could also put more hours than there are in the day into being with them. And of course, there are only 24 hours in the day, so you have to make decisions. But um, my decisions were not to do anything else. So I gave up ironing. It was a terrible sacrifice bought stretch t-shirts and so on <laughs> and 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 some other things that I I you know used to do quite a lot I and mean, hobbies and things like that so you, y yes you do give things up but it's a positive decision um, to prioritize the things that I really loved which are my family and and my science. What leadership style do you adopt to run your group? One of the main things I look for when I appoint people is, is people who actually are excited about the the work I mean that's that's criterion number one is is do you want to contribute to this this project? And it, it's actually quite surprising how many people don't write that when they're applying for jobs in your lab. They tell you all about how wonderful they are and they don't tell you that they actually want to do the job. So I assume that people want to do the job and from that basis, um, move forward hopefully to um, helping people do the best job they can for, for the work, but also for their next step. Finally, what advice would you give to junior researchers embarking on a career in science today? I think the most important thing is to try and work out what you want, what excites you, what motivates you, and then try and arrange for yourself a life that matches those, those things. That you know, sounds stupid, but that's at core what you've got to do. And that might be in research science, it might be in um, the media, in public engagement, in teaching, in the civil service, there are a huge range of options. So you, it's about figuring out what's going to work for you. And then I quite often say to people, um, my advice is don't take advice because people are always incredibly ready to give you negative advice about why you won't be able to do what you want to do. And in my experience, that's, that's just not the case. It's not that they're what they're saying is nonsense. You can listen to it and take it on board, but there's usually workarounds. If you know what you want, as I said earlier, it, it's usually possible to navigate, to find a route that, that allows you to achieve that, as long as what you want is that, that match between what motivates you and, and your environment. And there are many ways that you can make that match. There isn't just one solution, so you need some flexibility as well.